Diaponko is one of the communities in the Fija Kwabri North District battling with access to quality drinking water. For the longest time that this community has existed, this has been the major supply of water to many households. And the challenge that come with drinking from this pond is an eyesore. Traveling to the isolated areas of Efija Kwabri North District is a fraught adventure of setbacks. But none of these challenges is as blunt and plain as the struggle for access to safe drinking water faced by Duaponko and its next door villages. Duaponko, Ejajibiakra and Ejakunti are clusters of communities in the district where residents trek miles to fetch from their Pemesu pond. The Apimesu Pond is a natural still water with the size of a normal backyard pond sheltered by weeds and aquatic plants. Residents make their way to the pond daily to survive. With plastic containers including the popular Kofo gallon and calabashes in hand, they dip into the murky waters. They fetch enough disregarding the noticeable particles in it and make their way to their homes or quench their thirst on the spot, just like this gentleman. However, the old and winding pathways leading to the pond are worn and muddy. The pond, now turned stagnant and filled with debris of all kinds, gets muddy every time. Eja Kakari vividly recounts when the Apimesu pond was clear and reliable water source. <laughs> There was always a calabash to drink with. Later, they created this path, allowing for mud and dust to get into the pond. Now, even animals drink from it. This is not all that there is to the safe water crisis. The situation gets worse as the pond is shared with livestock. The goats, sheep, and dogs we see here quench their thirst from the same water source. Stagnant water can become a breeding ground for harmful microorganisms, but sharing drinking water source with animals is a risk of high diseases transmission, and these deprived residents are very much unaware of such risk. Seidu Ilyasu is the unit committee treasurer. <laughs> And Our issues are many. Imagine all the bacteria from animals and having to share a drink space with them. The crisis gets more fascinating. The farming village with two traditional boreholes is not better off. The borehole offer little relief as residents recount how one is often dry and dispensing water tainted with oily substances. One, two. The first one they drilled spores frequently, so they drilled a new one, which turns oily in a few days. Meanwhile, the other faintly functioning borehole frequently breaks down due to overdependence from the growing population of the villages. This compels a session of residents to go back to depending on the pond as their only water source. One of the pipes is spoiled and we don't even have money to repair. Look at our numbers. Not all of us can use the pipe water. The multifaceted canker has a share for school going children as they are made to wake up early to join long queues to be able to fetch from the faintly working borehole. The scarcity of quality water devastates education progress. Jalilu, a student of GHS1, describes the ordeal of fetching water every morning. <laughs> It gets to a time all the two can spoil, and we will have to struggle to get water. We have to wait a long queue to get some. The water 
The plight of these rural enclaves are seemingly not noticed by authorities. Swali Nanadudu is aggrieved by the neglect of Driaponko and its adjoining communities as he speaks about their efforts and the support they receive from the government. So a good gardener over here, no more free hand on air co kruma. One has our ha when he when he be just ah in Biani and Mianoaha pa and so so. We are a lively people. Trade and food are bountiful here, and we vote too. But it appears we are not part of the country. Oh, in this area, in Sunday, say, in this area, say, from Sunday, no man say, dia, in your yard, you can dia, and now Joe, say, we am Kana, ya sa ya sem, you can't even say it. Meanwhile, Seidu Ilyasu, the unit committee treasurer, joins calls to provide the struggling communities with safe drinking water. Aha no, you could have been born here. We are going to Yenam. There is nothing here. Even the roads are not good. We are crying for help. According to the World Health Organization, universal and equitable access to quality drinking water is a right that must be enjoyed by every person. Now, the greatest hope of the people of Diaponko is to see this right manifest in real life. Reporting for Joy News, my name is Clinton Yeboah.